Hi guys, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. This is Sandeep. Today we will see one important interview questions as per 0 to 5 years of experience. Explain finalized method in Java and important points related to finalized method in Java. So first finalized method, uh, before going to the finalized method, first we will see where exactly the finalized method is defined and what is the purpose of the finalized method and how to use the finalized method. Okay, so first finalized method is defined in object class so the definition of finalized method is given in the object class so whenever we, we have to call the finalized method we have to override the finalized method from the object class and we need to call super class finalized method okay so whenever we have to implement uh, whenever we need to call finalized method what we need to do we need to override this finalized method in our class from object class and we need to call super dot finalized method and when this finalized method gets executed, a uh, finalizer method gets executed just before garbage collector runs on an object. So, whenever the garbage collection process is about to run on an object, before that finalized method will get executed. Okay. So, these are the three points given here. And uh, coming to the third point, what we do in finalized method? Okay. What is the purpose of writing the overriding the finalized method? Okay. In finalized method, what we do is we perform cleanup activity. That is, if we want to release any system resources like closing database connection, closing files, closing any resources, we do all those things in finalized method. Okay. But one important point to remember here is don't write any important code in finalized method. Okay. Don't write any important code in finalized method. Why? Because there is no chance or there is no guarantee that finalized method will get executed okay there is no chance or there is no guarantee that finalized method will get executed so if you see that second point there is no guarantee that finalized method is called because finalized method is called just before the garbage collection process happens and we are not even sure that when garbage pro garbage collection process will happen on an object so don't write any important code in finalized method this is a uh, very important thumb rule to be noted here and next point is it is the responsibility of the developer to call superclass finalized method when we override finalized method. As I have shown and the previous as I have told you in the previous slide, it is the responsibility of the developer to call superclass finalized method. And one more important point is whenever uh, any exceptions arise in finalized method, those exceptions will not be propagated. Okay. Whenever any exception arises in uh, this finalized blith method those exceptions will not be propagated and are ignored by garbage collector and finalized method is called only once by the garbage collector okay finalized method gets calls only once by the garbage collector and as i have told you there is no guarantee that finalized method will get executed so in order to force the jvm to call the finalized method what we can do is we can use these two methods system dot run finalization and runtime dot get runtime dot run finalization so these two methods are useful in forcing the JVM to call finalized methods. Okay. So these are the important points and coming to the finalized method implementation. Okay. Finalized method implementation. So if you see the finalized method implementation, uh, try cache block and then finally we have defined super dot finalized. As I told you, it is the responsibility of the developer to uh, call the super class finalized method. And one more important point to note here is uh, finalized method returns nothing. So that is the reason it have a void as an access specifier and protected. Void as a return type, sorry, void as a return type and protected as an access specifier. Okay, let's recall all the important points in the finalized method. So first point is finalized method is defined in the object class. And whoever wants to implement the finalized method, they need to override the finalized method and should call super dot finalized method. This is the second point. And third important point is when finalized method is called. So finalized method is called just before the garbage collection process is about to happen. So before that finalized method will get called. And how many times finalized method will called? Finalized method will be called only once on an object. Okay. That too just before garbage collection process. Okay. And the next point. Uh, that is fifth point. Any exceptions that are uh, uh, that occurred in uh, what do we say? In finalized method those will not be propagated any exceptions that occur in finalized method those will not be propagated okay so these are the very important points related to finalized method hope you guys understand this video thanks for watching my video 
फॉर मोर जावा इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सब्सक्राइब टू माई वीडियोज